We've gone through a tough year, medical emergencies, tough loss. How how is this sweeter than most wins? Oh my God, this this means everything. You know, I, I wish the end of the fight would have would have happened different. But hey, you know, I wouldn't be a fighter who I was. You know, at the end, she called me names, so it went a little spastic. But I really wanted to tell everybody, man, I, I've been working so hard for this to get a clean slate. Like I just want a clean slate with with fighting and everything. You know, I start off it in. BKFC 2 against Beck Rollins, and everyone was like, wow, she showed heart, but I lack defense, I lack skill, I lack technique, and I have been on a four-year journey to pick up as much IQ, as much technique, and as much skill, and I'm so tired of having people criticize me for the panic button and the wild shots and, and not having control, maybe physical, need to work on the mental control, but... To go out there and, and keep that composure is something I've been wanting to do for a long time, realizing my range, not rushing in. You know, I feel like I had some really good defensive moves, slips, catches, parries, and um, I'm coming out, you know, pretty clean, um, and my opponent is coming out pretty not clean, so it's pretty sweet, man. It really is. It's sweet. I'm a, you know, I didn't get the title against Christine, breaks my heart, but I'm the UFC killer, man, for sure. All right, you want a tactical fight, and before the fight, she had questioned your fight IQ. Does this make, does that even make it even better that you were able to win a tactical fight against Beck Rollins? I mean, that's the whole point. I love to bang. I'm a fighter. I have heart, and I love this sport. You guys see me. You know, I'm not afraid to bang. I have nothing to prove to the world. I can bang, but when someone challenges me with not having skill and not being tactical. I'm going to rise to it, and that's exactly what we executed. I listened to my corners. I didn't rush in. You know, there's a, I really love the clinch work, and my coach was like, you know, whatever you do, don't clinch with her. I remember one time I was banging. I was like, I let it go real quick because I was like, no, don't get into that fight. Let's go back to boxing. So, yeah, no, it, it makes it ten times sweeter. What happened at the end of the fight? You would try to shake her hand, and she, well, she refused to shake her hand? Yeah, and you know, again, I didn't mean for it to get that out of control, but the reason, you know, everyone always sees the person who hits back, not the person that hits. So as soon as the bell rung in the final fifth round, um, she looked at me and called me a pussy. And um, when she called me out of my name and called me a pussy after a bare knuckle fight, I told her, hey, you're the queen, you're supposed to come get me. You know, why didn't you engage anymore? Because your plan is just to counter me off of my mistakes, right? And um, that's how I kind of kept out of control. My corners were like, hey, calm down, sportsmanship. So I went over there and I was like, hey, I'm sorry. She said she's from Australia. So USA, baby, USA, because I said, hey, sorry, she's from Australia. She don't accept apologies. She wouldn't um, shake my hand. So I walked off. It could be, you know, whatever. I won decisively. That's all I got to say. Brett, I'm just curious because you talked about the strategy. Was that something put in the camp early or was that something later on that decided, hey, this is how we're going to fight? And a follow up, did it surprise you that she didn't come after you at all? Because the whole fight, she just stayed where she was and didn't adjust. You know, honestly, I've told everybody she's not going to be a different fighter. She's going to be the same exact fighter. She fights everyone the same way. And, you know, I've always said, that's why she doesn't want to fight Misfit because it would be the most boring fight ever because they're counter fighters. They just counter each other. So, uh, you know, I wasn't surprised, you know, but I knew it was something we worked on. And I have to say my, my fight camp was purely strategy. I'm super happy to have Coach Ryan Perez um, fix that game plan and then my Coach Luck come in and, and reinforce it on the trust and background we've had together. But it was really Ryan setting the game plan for the last month of Britain. Do not brawl. Box, box, box. And that was drilled in my head for at least 30 days straight. And we got it We got it at, at the day 30 when it mattered the most. What was the corner saying to you, especially in the fourth and fifth rounds? Because we were all figuring, uh-oh, she's going to come after her. What was your corner telling you at the later rounds? Yep, so my corners said exactly that. They predicted exactly what you said. They're like, she's going to come out hard. You know, you got to stay on it. Um, and uh, the, the best thing they said to me that I can remember, they said, you got to believe in yourself. Um, they probably told me other things I can't remember, but, um, you know, I, I apologize at the end because there were some more things that we did work on in the camp. There were some more things that we drilled that I really wanted to commit to, and I, I wanted to apologize. I just wasn't feeling it in the moment, and, um, you know, but overall I think I stuck to the game plan, boxing on the outside. What's next? Uh, <laughs> you know what? I, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I need a break. 
I really do. I, I would love to go beat up everyone, but I think um, I think physically I'm awesome. I think my skill has grown, but uh, and my IQ has grown. But I think that these fight camps and the world around me does get stressful and emotional, and um, I think that I'm slipping on control of maintaining composure and the things that I need to work on for my mental game. So I think I need to take six months to really compose myself so I can um, handle these victories much better in a better way. And um, I owe that to the fans in the world that if I cannot stay mentally composed, you know, m boxing is mental and I need to get my mental game back on track. Do you think we might see a third fight? Um, you know, I'm a fighter. I always say I'm down for any fight. So I don't turn away from a fight. But I'm going to keep it real. Last time was a split decision. That warrants a rematch. This was an undecisive win. It doesn't really warrant a rematch. So guess what? If you want the rematch, pay me. Uh, Christine Pereira, Taylor Starling, I'm fighting for the championship. What do you think of that fight? Who's going to win that fight? Christine. Why? I just think Christine is, she's bigger. She's, um, she's been around. She's fought tough opponents. And uh, I think that that goes a long way. Um, looking at me, look at my resume. I fight tough opponents. And um, I can't say that about, you know, you, this other person that she's fighting. She really needs to, to fight a tough opponent. And um, I just see Christine winning and keeping all the personal BS out of the side. I'm going with Christine. All right, congratulations. Thank you.